on this occasion we're gonna be hunting on Esper's Valley. It's gonna be my first ever period on this beautiful reserve. And I come here with the main goal of getting a giant moose. For that we're gonna focus on hunting this river. This whole region is hands down the best location to find moose. You know it is actually a great area. And even though it's mainly good for moose and waterfall, it ain't rare to come across mule deer and white tail herds around this area, as well as you know the occasional black bear or grey wolf. Anyway, there is a herd of white tail over there. In the last time I checked it there was a four star mature, so if we are lucky enough, he might already be a five star. Okay, not really surprising, as I said it used to be a four star, so I gave it a couple days and now he's a five star. That will do it. Shouldn't go too far, he's already moving slower. And going to bed right there. Now I realize that the four stars are the actual trophies, in the sense that they have a really, really high chance to become five stars. So you know, you gotta let them grow because each time you kill one, you are essentially losing a great chance to get a five star. Of course, some of them will die as four stars, but saying that 30 or 40 percent of the four stars will grow big enough eventually, honestly, it doesn't sound too far from reality. Okay, he's still going. By the way, we're still playing on adventure difficulty, and we're not gonna increase it to hunter until it is fixed, because right now, for some reason, the adventure difficulty is actually harder than the hunter difficulty. That is one of the bugs that has to be fixed, there are many, but the game is still very enjoyable. You know, it certainly wasn't the smoothest release. Luckily, they have been fixing some of the issues rather quickly, so I really feel the game is moving in the right direction. You know, it has plenty of room for improvement, but having the hot fixes ready in a short time is certainly a great thing. That is a nice picture. Now let's harvest our first 5 star on Nesper's Valley. A massive white tail which we dropped with a double long, with 90.35% generic potential and with a score of 463. Not especially huge, it would have actually grown bigger if you had an extra day, but still a massive white tail and my first ever 5 star on Esper's Valley. There is a moose herd down there. The first one of the hunt, it has a couple bulls. And one of them is a 2 star adult, which is quite interesting, you know it has potential to become way bigger in the future. And the same could be said for the other 1 star young, so we're gonna leave him alive. Oh, there is actually another heart down there, and there is a 3 star mature, which in fact I think it is the biggest moose I have ever seen, but unfortunately I don't think it has any potential to become a 5 star. So I would say the best thing we can do is to take him down with the 300 and hope to get a better respawn. Let's see. Alright. The idea was to get a hard shot in a double long, but apparently we didn't hit the heart. He's down right there anyway. A 3 star mature moose with a nice looking palmate. I really love how the moose look on this game I gotta say. In my opinion they did an amazing job with this particular model, and I would say that is the main reason why I want this particular 5 star more than others. If there is one thing that I really like about this game, it's the fact that it is possible to take long range shots, like up to a thousand meters if you have enough elevation, which is absolutely insane. Anyway, as you can see on this situation, there we have what seems to be a 2 star adult pool. I don't think it is big enough to be a 3 star, so we're gonna shoot it at a bit more than 500 meters. You know that's certainly far, but still not too far. Whoa, he's down. We hit the heart. Mostly luck, but that was a beautiful shot. Alright, we hit the hair 10 it double long at 539 meters on this 2 star adult. It was actually an adult. Look at that palmate. It's massive, so I wanna think that it's at least a 4 star mature. Actually, I'm more inclined to think that it's a 5 star. I mean, I have seen them in different videos, and this one looks just as big as those. And I don't know, but I heard that the 5 star moose is probably one of the rarest and hardest trophies to find. 
you know, it seems that it's actually quite hard to find them. So if this case in fact a 5 star, you'd be fantastic. And without any doubt, our most special trophy so far. Still a bit too far to spot it. Let's see here. Look at that. It is a 5 star. Let's try to get close enough to take a nice picture using the camera mode. We're at like 150 meters away from him. And I think it's time to get on the camera mode and see if we can take a nice picture already. You know, this is essentially a drone, which is fantastic to take pictures, but at the same time it can be exploited and used as a cheat, essentially. So it's certainly controversial, but the good thing is that it has a limited range. Okay, now they are directly staring at us, so it's clear that they are alert. I managed to take a somewhat decent picture that we can zoom in later. I mean, it is decent, but it is quite far, and the bull is really not on the best position. You know, if we were patient, we could obtain a better angle, but to be honest, the picture I care the most is the trophy shot. So we're just gonna drop this guy, and hopefully he lands on a decent place to take a nice trophy shot. Alright. He is down. That's interesting, that didn't seem like a hard shot, so I would imagine that at that distance even a double long is enough to kill him almost immediately, because you know, if it was a hard shot at 100 meters, he would have died exactly on the spot. So I'm certain that wasn't a hard shot in, especially because I feel we hit it a bit too far back. Beautiful shot. Look at that antler, it's massive. And you know, the landscape on the background makes it even better. Really happy with this picture, and of course to get another 5 star. Ok, we got a double long at 107 meters, 97% generic potential, which probably means he would have died the next day, and also that he is a really big bull. 488 score. Gotta make sure to tax it and let's continue the hunt. 2 star adult. And 3 star mature. That is an interesting heart composition. You know, the 3 star mature might become a 4 star, and I'm especially curious to see how big that 2 star adult gets, because even though he has a small rating, he looks pretty much as big as a 3 star. So the sooner he turns into one, the better, and I guess that's gonna happen really soon. Whoa. It only took one day for the 3 star mature to become a 4 star, and for the 2 star adult to become a 3 star adult. You know, he ain't even mature yet and he's already a 3 star. That's really promising. I would say there is a good chance it becomes a 4 star mature, and eventually, another big 5 star. So I would say the best option is to give him a few days to grow, and in the meantime, we're gonna go check other locations to see if we can find a big male of a different species. Now we're up here on this mountainous area trying to spot some mountain goats, bighorn, elk, and perhaps some grey wolf, because those are essentially the species that you can find around this lake. You know, it's a very decent region, where I just managed to spot a herd of bighorn over there. And at a first glance, it seems there are at least a couple of decent sized males. You know, hard to tell which one is bigger at this distance. And to be honest, I don't really feel like getting inside the spawning range, because I feel we would be wasting a perfect chance to go for a 500 meter shot. And although there is certainly a risk of killing something that we wouldn't want to kill if we spotted it before, I really want to go for a shot at this distance. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do here. That's it. Shouldn't go far. Oh, that one is big. Somehow I didn't see it before, but that one looked really, really big. Okay, the ram we shot is down, but I gotta say now I am a lot more interested in the one we are running. There he is again. That is definitely either a big 4 star, or even a 5 star mature. And now I am genuinely scared to take a shot before spotting it, because of the real chance and high chance of it being a 4 star with the potential to grow and become a 5 star. But it's still perfect situation to take a 500 meter shot, and maybe end up harvesting a 5 star.
Perfect. Okay, he ran a bit. But now he's down. The moment of truth. Exactly how big is this guy? We can be 100% sure it is either a 4 star or 5 star. I mean, the horns are massive, so it couldn't be smaller. Okay, now let's see. We hit a double long and almost the heart on this. 5 star. Big horn chip. Damn. 93% genetics in 460.9 score. Barely a 5 star. That is a gigantic elk. Look at those antlers. It's massive. And if he's also a 5 star, then I don't know what to say. Our map is getting hot. You know, it might be just a lock streak, but perhaps the 5 stars are actually quite common because initially I thought they were really challenging to find. But once you understand the whole aging mechanic, and especially once you learn what to kill and what not, that is the moment the 5 stars start to appear, probably more than they should. In my honest opinion, of course. Okay, no surprise, this guy is actually max level, so not gonna think it twice, and I'ma take a shot. Alright, we hit on the liver area, so hopefully that was a double long and liver. Here we have our first ever 5 star elk. A beautiful trophy. A beautiful trophy shot. In the decent shot, not great hitting the liver and the right long, but good enough to drop this giant. 94.8% genetic potential in 481.9 score in what is our first ever 5 star elk. And well, now it's time to go back and check the moose again. You remember that 3 star adult and the 4 star mature on the same herd? Well, they are getting really, really big. Now there is only a 4 star mature on its own, which essentially means that the 3 star adult became this 4 star mature and the other 4 star died as the same. So this guy is beginning his mature cycle and now it's just a matter of days for him to become a 5 star. Look at that. Another 5 star moose. We side grow from a 2 star adult to a 5 star, which is insane. I would love to get a hard shot, so you know I wanna get relatively close to drop him on the spot. But now I have no idea where he is, they seem to be going uphill. Okay, he's still there. We are close, but we can still get closer. Gotta get onto this rock to gain some elevation. And as soon as I get a chance, I'ma go for the heart. Come on. Just like that. Went down like a sack of potatoes, that's what I wanted to see. That is our second 5 star moves.